What is up, people? We are rolling, quite literally, today. Hey guys, I haven't been on here for a while, so for those of you that don't remember me or haven't seen me before, my name is Jacob, most important guy on the farm, I wish. But yeah, today uh, we are rolling and putting on a cover crop. That's the rig. We're pulling it with a 310 RT. It's the Heva King Roller. At least that's what it says on there, so I believe that's what it is. And we do this uh, primarily to roll the ground and uh, roll smaller rocks, get them pushed into the ground. That way later on when we come here with the triple mower so we don't mess up our mower. And that uh, seed boxes on there is uh, to put down some cover crop. Um, how it works is it's uh, driven by that fan. Obviously there's seed in there. It pushes the air through there and then into these hoses. And it brings it down right in front of these rollers right here. Each of those will spew out seed. seed looks like, not that anybody asked, but in case you're wondering. That is what it's like. Let's see if I can reach in here. So you can see it's really small grains. For those of you who don't, don't know alfalfa or and or clover, this, that's what it looks like. This is what we see when we look out of our back window. Uh, not a whole lot, honestly. I mean, we're seeding. Let me see. I think I see that one spewing seeds. So yeah, if the sun's just right, you can see seeds coming out. And if there's a shadow, or especially at night, you just have to trust your instinct and hope it seeds. That's about all you can do. It's our controller right there. 10.4 kilograms a hectare, which is roughly 11 pounds to the acre. All our instructions written on the window right there. And running about 60 to 65 acre an hour. Nine miles an hour. We do this after the oat seeder. Put a cover crop on there, that way when we take our oats off and it, hopefully it rains, we get uh, alfalfa crop out here instead of just weeds growing. Got about two more days of doing this and now we're done for the season. See all the dust we're kicking up? That's due to a dry winter. But we got some rain and snow forecasted for this weekend so Hopefully we get some of that, and that changes things. This, this, this would not be very good if this keeps up.
just got moved up to the next farm up in Minnesota. Got that seed box filled back up. That'll get me about 150 acres or so. Yeah, that's about it. That's about all I have for you. See you in the next one. You know, things probably look a lot different than that last video Jacob showed you guys. And believe it or not, that was Monday. Today's Friday. But I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to the past week. It's not very exciting, but it sort of, sort of is. If you can't tell, I have, a, I have a head cold. So I apologize if I sound different or whatever, but currently we are working on the dirt work to add on to the bin site that we built last year by Amherstburg. Now I know many of you guys have asked for a video on that bin site and I'm not very good at doing things you guys want me to do. Just ask my wife. Um, but <laughs> we've been hauling dirt or I've been hauling a lot of fill sand, uh, roadstone, you know, getting staging areas set up and stuff. Um, not very exciting stuff, but it will be exciting, you know, when we start putting bins up. So, and we do have enough video for a full video. So, taking some videos today. Not a whole lot, but I'll show you guys what's up. Well, I made it to the Hammocksburg site, as you can probably tell. Looks like Kyle started a truck for us. What a nice guy. Anyway, we're gonna haul some fill material. I don't know what you'd really call it. It's like, I'll just show you guys. You guys are a lot smarter than me. Well, it's gonna be a little while before I show you it, but we're gonna hop in the truck, make a few loads. I'm not gonna take a whole lot of videos today. Just finish out this video, talk a little bit about the new new bin site. Probably should turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. That'd be unfortunate. Anywho, um, this summer we're putting up one more bin. It's gonna be way bigger than those bins we put up last year, which hold 200,000 bushels, I believe. I'll get back to you guys some future video on the specs of the new bin, but we're hauling around 400 tons now. Maybe 4,000 tons of fill material for the dirt work for this. Uh, we do plan on extending or putting up more bins in the future, so we're just gonna haul a lot and do a lot of dirt work, you know, while we can. While it's obviously so nice out, um, but that's pretty much what I've been doing the whole week. Um, we, we have been working on planters and such, you know, when the snow melts and when it doesn't snow, which might be a few weeks, but uh, we're pretty much just getting things ready for, you know, planting season, so there's not a whole lot going on. There'll be a few videos coming out from Colorado. Um, I do have a video filmed on our farm's history. I know one or two of you guys asked about that, and then just uh, day in the life, uh, fixing stuff, stuff like that are all filmed whether they get edited in the next week is uh, another question but um if anyone has any experience editing videos and that stuff and wants to do that um email me my email is in the description of every, of every video shoot me an email um whether it's just you know helping out when you can or want some experience in that um, i'd be more than happy to work with you it's not that i can't do it it's just that you know it it's an extra step in this whole thing that could be avoided if someone wanted to help out so we're gonna quit yapping and start trucking but email me if you're interested in that about you guys but I kind of like trucking like ASMR I hate trucking I don't like the truck but uh, I kind of like listening to trucking noises trucking noises anyway um, basically we're just hauling I mean this is four miles from the bin site so it takes like I would say 15 to 20 minutes to turn a load by the time you leave the shop come here get loaded scale out drive back dump takes about 20 minutes so we can get I mean a really good day is 20 Hans if you're watching this I'm pretty sure he's a super trucker he got a few 20 low days last summer when we did this 
Levi, I know, I hope you're watching this. We had like six trucks going at once last summer, all hauling the same thing. I think we hauled over, how many tons would it have been? What's 20 times 20? So 20 times 20 would be, oh my gosh, it'd be about 400. We hauled about 400, not 20 times, what am I doing? Moral of the story is we hauled a lot of sand in a very short amount of time, and right now it's just me, and it's not very fun. But uh, we're gonna quick dump this load and <laughs> finish up this video. <laughs> and that's what I do for eight hours a day um, we're gonna call it a video there. there's not a whole lot of exciting stuff going on but hopefully we can get in the shop next week or yeah next week and uh, get some videos for you guys that might be a little bit more entertaining than just hauling hauling gravel for a long time uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe we are getting close to that 10,000 subscriber mark be pretty sick to hit that before uh, corn planting or that is my goal, my brother Noah's goal, um, hit 10,000 before we hit corn planting, and then then I'm done YouTubing. No, I'm just kidding. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and uh, as always, catch you in the next one.